Howdy folks. One month ago today, on October 6th, it being November 6th now, I put up a video basically saying that I was willing to fight Frank Dukes since he seems to have challenged me, uh, but the conditions that he set were completely, you know, undoable. Uh, I'm a single father, I'm not rich, and his conditions basically was, well he was calling me a coward for not facing him, was that I would have to pay him a substantial amount of money before anything started, then find a place overseas, say Thailand, and then pay all the expenses of transporting everyone involved out there and, and foot the bill. Uh, I think there's a fairly obvious attempt to appear to make it sound like I'm the coward for not meeting these conditions, but he knows full well that I can't meet the conditions since it would cost maybe $100,000 total. You know, I don't know. Uh, and as a result, you know, I'm kind of like have just waiting and I counter pro uh, propose something since he seems to be challenging me that, you know, we do it in either Denver or Las Vegas. He lives in La Las Vegas. I live near Denver and that we raise uh, $10,000 through a GoFundMe or various means to go to the winner, not to him, whether he, whether he wins or loses, because, you know, if he thinks he can win, then the money is his, you know, he should have no problems. I mean, he's got six inches on me and 300 pounds, most of that man breast, but, you know, he hasn't responded, you know, I, I think that uh, this is kind of strange, and he seems to have gone through a friend. I got this uh, rather incoherent message from someone named Jeff Langton a friend of J Frank Dukes, who seems to be kind of taunting me or maybe, you know, suggesting that we fight in Mexico. Um, okay, let me just read parts of it off or maybe all of it. He, he is getting a championship belt. He has 329 fights, 56 KO. Mexico needs to know that you would like to fight the champ. Hope to see it would be epic. The world needs superheroes. Frank the champ, right Don. Mexico giving him a championship belt. It does not make since right dawn there is a champ don it makes me wonder you too i bet you guys can fight for this belt in mexico right contact mexico okay that might be taunting that might be an honest suggestion that we do this in mexico since one of frank's silly little conditions was he says he claims that he's afraid that i would sue him afterwards um, of course my response was well, show me a case where somebody in America got into a ring with all the things that they signed and then was able to sue later on. I don't know of a case, and Frank hasn't come forward and given me a case to, to, to say that uh, the, having this overseas is justified. You know, why can't we have it in Denver if we all sign waivers? Okay. So this guy seems to be saying that we should have it in Mexico, but I'm not hearing it directly from Frank. I'm not hearing it in public. This is something that, you know, you, when you deal with you know, plausible deniability, you know, if I don't respond to this guy, uh, maybe later on Frank will be saying, oh, I had a friend try to set things up, but the cowardly Don really wouldn't respond. Um, okay. If I do respond, out of the public li limelight to Jeff directly, probably nothing will ever get done. If it, I confront Frank with it, he's going, well, I never authorized that, blah, blah, blah. So why not in public? Why not directly from Frank? Now, if it's in Mexico, Mexico is a big country, okay? If it's like in Tijuana, I could probably get down to San Diego, stay with a friend down there, you know, keep my kid there, go into Tijuana for a day, come back out. Okay, maybe that's doable, but, you know, details. Mexico is a big place. Uh, so let's do this in public, Frank, not through your friends, not through messages in public like I'm doing right now where everyone can see what's going on. Um, I am firm in my opinion that you are a fraud and you are scared to get in the ring of me with me because if you don't do as well as you know people expect because you really didn't go through all the training, you really didn't win the Kumite, you really weren't in the CIA, as has been proven in courts of law, then you know when you do badly in the ring, then the last people that support you will have to wake up and realize it's all a lie. So yeah, I really don't expect you to be out in public like this, but you know, I'm going to insist on it just because, so you can't say that a friend tried to set things up and I didn't respond, okay? I'm taking this public. Now, as I said earlier, I am quite willing 
to fight you if you are challenging me. You know, you've never said that you didn't challenge me. You've been telling other people that you challenge me, then I keep ducking you. You keep trying to place me, you know, portray me as a coward, and yet these conditions are um, impossible for someone like me to fill out. I mean, does anyone have $100,000 that they're willing to donate to this to fulfill all these conditions that Frank is putting out to, you know, in the way of us getting in the ring? So yeah, so again, I said April 6th, you know, I'm going to go forward with that. I said that it could be in Denver, it could be in Las Vegas. You know, I'm willing to talk about Mexico, depending on where it is and stuff like that, if it's out in public. But without that type of thing, I'm going to go forward with thinking that's going to be in Las Vegas or in Denver area. And if I don't hear anything by January 1st, I'm just going to like talk to a, uh, a gym up in the Denver area and set up something up there for April 6th. So yeah, um, I really want a, a, an answer from Frank Dukes and I can do this for the next five months until April 6th. I can just keep reminding you, keep throwing it out there and every time you try to go through a friend to kind of like have this, you know, like I, I try to set things up through a friend but he didn't want to respond. You know, these little stunts, yeah, you know, I will shine the light on you. Again, Frank Dukes, you were never trained by anyone named Senzo Tanaka. I'll say that straight out. There's no proof you were ever in the, in the same room with someone named Ten, Senzo Tanaka. It was a very common name in the day, yes. Uh, CIA has denied that you were ever an agent, period. You keep making accusations against people when they, you know, show these things up, you know, uh, but you don't show any proof that to your accusations. I mean, you just wrote a whole series of blogs saying the FBI were behind trying to prove that you, you know, try to say that you were lying about your military service. No. And then you didn't... You didn't show any proof that the FBI was involved, uh, no matter how many times people or what they did to to ask you for it. Um, you know, quite simply, Frank, you move like a pregnant yak. Okay, you have six inches on me, three hundred pounds. I'm not scared to get in the ring with you. If you want to make this, you know, a reality, I will get in the ring with you. But again, I don't have a hundred thousand uh, dollars. I'm a single father. You know, travel is kind of limited for me. You know, you keep trying to pretend that I'm a coward from, for not facing you, and you set these things up, you know, so that I can't meet the conditions. Well, okay. Well, I'm just going to tell the world the truth about you and your conditions for as long as it takes. You know, I've got time. You know, I can come out here for five minutes and make a video and then go back and do my translations. Uh, so, yeah, April 6th, Denver area, Las Vegas area, if I don't hear back, uh, if you want to do it, if you, Frank, want to do it in Mexico, let's do the, let's do the negotiations in public where everyone can see what's going on so they can see if you're setting up conditions that are just too difficult for anyone to reasonably meet. So, that's it. April 6th, I'm training for it. I'm getting ready for it. I'm pumped and ready for it. This is going to be fun if it ever happens. But if it doesn't happen, it's going to be because Frank Dukes is afraid to get in the ring with me. Frank Dukes is going to make conditions that he knows I can't meet financially. So, that's it. And uh, expect more of these videos, more blogs, more uh, expose of all the lies that Frank has made. Oh yeah, and I am coming out with a book. Uh, I'm in the beginning stages of the book, which will kind of explain all the, the holes in Frank's story. That's something you should look forward to. See you again.